because I'm at the Super 5 in a video, so I'm going to carry on with my old firm fiend videos. I'm going to count down my five top favourite set of players of all time that played for the club in my lifetime. So at number five, I went for Gary Hooper, obviously arrived from Scunthorpe, Neil Lennon brought him in. In the old firm games, he was great for us, he really, really was. Scored on his debut. For us, we wanted to lose that game 3 1, unfortunately, but he was scoring that game. The two goals that stand out for me, well, I think Gary Hooper and Rangers, would probably be the double he got at Paradise when he beat them 3 0 in February 2011. We completely dominated that game. Obviously, he got away from Weir the first goal, and then that meant McGregor. Excuse me, and then the second goal obviously is a gear a counter attack, played it across, and Hooper put it in. It was just a great goal. And yeah, he was just a four in the Rangers side. His record, I remember one season he scored like 31 goals for us, it was just unbelievable. It really was his final season that was, he scored 31 for us. And yeah, he proved himself to be good, valuable on the you know European stage, scored two goals in Spart a CSK Moscow, or no, Spartak Moscow, Spartak Moscow home and away and yeah he was just great for us I was disappointed he went to Norwich because when he was there he never really established himself he wasn't give, really given a chance at Norwich and they were relegated to the championship he's now at Sheffield Wednesday but I really really miss him thought him and Lee Griffiths would have been brilliant to cover at Celtic but obviously he went for money which doesn't take away my respect for him so yeah my fifth favourite player of all time is definitely Gary Hooper fourth favourite player of all time at Celtic would probably be Chris Sutton, loved his tenacity, loved his passion, loved his commitment, obviously he won the Premier League with Blackburn a few years before he joined Celtic and then he joined Celtic when Martin O'Neill arrived in 2000, scoring his old firm debut against Rangers after like two minutes or something, and yeah he was just a fallen in their side, he would out muscle their defenders, he scored a great goal in the 3-3 game at Celtic Park one year, last minute. Celtic needed a goal and he came up trumps. Our muscle would defend them, volleyed it, and then he scored that beautiful chip where he beat Rangers five times in one season or whenever it was, I think it was. And yeah, he scored that amazing goal where it looked like a tenant for a draw. Celtic were already champions at that point, but he scored the goal. And yeah, he was just fantastic for us. Again, he proved to be vital in Europe. He didn't score as many goals, but he was still vital. And yeah, he's definitely my fourth threat player of all time. So yeah. Chris Sutton at number four. Number three would be Big Bad John. Obviously, I'm talking about John Hartson. He was just a monster in the old firm games. Particularly against Amoruso. He would bully Amoruso, give him hard time in the old firm game. But one time he won a penalty against Amoruso and he got past him and Amoruso brought him down. And yeah, again, he was another player who would just bully the range of centre halves. My favourite goal from him would probably be. The one where he hit it against Kitchener's Philly's leg. He didn't mean to. He just like hit it and hoped. And it hit Kitchener's Philly. Looped over Stephen across. Hit the bar and went in. And yeah, he was just brilliant for us. He was part in Europe. Scored the amazing goal against Liverpool. On our way to Seville in 2003. Like, he absolutely whacked it. And it went into the top corner. That was unbelievable. Obviously, he beat Cancer. Which was absolutely unbelievable. When it looked like he was going to die, he and had no hope. He just came back and beat it. Has his own cancer charity, the John Hartson Foundation, and he's still very much a Celtic supporter. And he talks highly about us most of the time. I love when he criticizes us as well and things going badly wrong because he is right most of the time. So yeah, he's my third favorite player of all time, John Hartson. Second favorite player of all time, Stian Petrov. I loved his tenacity in midfield, I loved his sort of precision, like he would make so many beautiful passes, he was good in the tackle, but he was more good going forward in my opinion. My favourite goal they scored in its range would be the header, where he like dived in the box and he hit it towards goal, Kloss made a great save but hit both posts and went in, so it won that game 3-0, I can remember because Varga and Thompson scored in that game. And yeah, he was just unbelievable for us. He would he used to score in the 6-2 game as well. We headed him from the corner, which were actually equipped in, and he got away from the Rangers defenders and scored. And he was another one who was just tremendous for us in Europe, like his experience. He didn't score many goals in Europe, but he was experienced. 
and his experience got us through, particularly in 2003 in the UEFA Cup. He then moved on to Aston Villa, where he was a captain, and he had a great successful era there with Martin O'Neill, where he got like fourth for like three or four seasons in a row or something, I can't remember. Then he got leukaemia, which was sad, and you can see he was really ill. Like, he, came, he was a set park like a few months later, or a year or so later, and he looked really badly ill. But he beat leukaemia, it was unbelievable, and he's back in football now. He's free agent, I think. It's a shame Villa let him go because he was such a great captain for them. And even though he's older now, he could have backed a bit of experience to their team to get them back into the Premier League. So it's a shame they got rid of him, but that's how football goes. So yeah, he was definitely my second fair player of all time. And I miss him very much. And, you know, hope he stays better. Same with John Hartson as well. I hope they both stay better and healthy. And I miss him very much at Celtic Park. And so yeah, he's my second fair player of all time. And number one, it's obvious... You probably all know who I'm going to pick. The King of Kings. It had to be him. The Swedish superstar. Hendrik Larsson. He was just on a different planet. He really, really was when he played with Celtic under Martin O'Neill. And even before that, he was there before Martin O'Neill. Under Van Goss. You know, he was just unbelievable. Like, the goal that he scored in 6-2 game against Rangers... Was unbelievable. Sutton won the ball against Amoruso. Larson that made the Bert Conteman chipped over Stefan Kloss beautifully. Did the tongue celebration, just brilliant. And then the volley he scored in one game. Like the ball came in from the side. Out muscles Craig Moore catches it on the volley past Stefan Kloss. It was just tremendous. His record against Rangers was just ridiculous. I think he scored like 10 goals or something. And yeah, he. Was our best player in that era. Definitely had a great team then. Like, particularly in 2003, he was unbelievable. Where he got to do a for cup final against Porto, where he scored the double. He even says to this day that he wishes Celtic had won that final because it still hurts because he performed so well and he didn't want to be on the losing side. And yeah, I can remember his last game for us was against Seville. A set of parking testimonial where Chris Sutton scored the only goal of the game. I think it ended 1 0. And he started to cry in his. Interview because he showed that he loved set fans, the set of fans loved him, and we all loved him. We really did. He was our superstar. He then moved on to Barcelona where he had more success. He won the Champions League, he's unbelievable in the Champions League final against Arsenal, even though he didn't score. He was just brilliant. Aubrey said in an interview that it surprised him that out of all the players he expected to stand out like Ronaldinho and Eto, it was Hendrik Glass who stood out. That's great of me to say. One world-class player praising another one. But yeah, he was somebody in that final. He scored it at Celtic for Barcelona as well at Celtic Park. It was quite a weird moment because you didn't know whether to cheer him or boo him. And he didn't celebrate either because that, so that showed respect that he loved the Celtic fans and Celtic fans loved him because Celtic fans didn't boo him and he didn't cheer when he scored against them for Barcelona. He then sort of like went to Manchester United on loan, I can remember. Did all right there for a short period on Strats Ferguson. He went back to Helsingborg in Sweden and he retired and he's now manager in the Swedish league. But yeah, he was unbelievable. He's definitely my favourite player of all time. It has to be, it has to be him. There's nobody who touches him. My, excuse me, my opinion. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. This is, a lot of people say Jimmy Johnson's better than him. He's the greatest player of all time. But I personally think it's Hendrik Larsson. I never saw Jimmy Johnson play. So to me, it's Hendrik. But, you know, everyone's entitled to an opinion. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, and also, if you want to add any more suggestions, link to the old firm, Derby, or anything, anything Celtic related, please comment in the description below. I'll be back tomorrow, I'll be doing my Premier League and SPL predictions, I'll do a preview to the Rangers vs Celtic game, at Parkhead on Saturday, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Hail hail and peace out.